Hello everyone. Welcome to another short video. In this video, we are going to look at how to configure quality of service on Palo Alto Firewall. So I am going to use this topology to demonstrate QoS on Palo Alto Firewall. So this is my Linux client. So whenever this machine uploads something to the internet, I am going to limit that. Also, whenever this machine downloads something from the internet, I'm going to limit that as well. So just one thing to remember about QoS is QoS is always applied on the exit interface of a packet. So in order to limit the download on this Linux machine, I am going to apply QoS on this bundle interface, which is named as AE1 in on my Palo Alto firewall. And to limit the upload, I will apply the uh qos on the eth one by three interface that's my van interface so let's jump on to the palo alto and look at its configuration so here is my palo alto first thing i have to do is create a qos profile so i'll go under the network uh, under the network profiles we have qos profiles so let's create uh, two profiles i'll create one for upload one for download so let me first create the upload profile so i'll say upload and egress max is the maximum speed okay over the uh, interface that's for this entire qs profile and egress guaranteed is the guaranteed speed now you need to define a, a class and the priority of the class and what's the egress max for that class and what's the egress guaranteed for the class so above the egress guaranteed speed all the traffic is forwarded based on the best effort delivery now let's create a class. I'll create class three. Priority, I'll keep it uh, real time, which is the best, and then high, then medium, then low. I'm going to keep it as real time. Let's say I want to limit the max to 0.5 Mbps for the class three traffic. You can also specify it in the percentage. So this percentage, then percentage values in these columns are taken from the percentage values of egress max and egress guaranteed. Okay. For upload we have created a profile now let's create one for the download as well download and yeah class 3 real time i'll say mm, download let's make it 1 mbps as a max speed for the download so now the profiles have been created and the class 3 traffic has been limited to you know respective capabilities like 0.5 mbps for the maximum egress for upload and 1 mbps for the maximum egress as the download now we need to apply these profiles to the respective interfaces so let go under the qs option on the network tab click add so download will be limited as ae1 interface so let's select our interface ae1 I'm not going to set egress max mbps we are going to check the box turn on qs feature on this interface and then clear text i'll say ae1 is going to limit the download so download hit ok now i'm going to do it for the eth one by three for the load upload so now these profiles have been attached to the interfaces now i need to classify what traffic goes under class 3 so that i'll do under the policies qos let's create a qos policy i'll say qos demo and uh, i'll say lan zone going to van zone and then uh, source address i'll put the ip address of my linux machine which is 10002 destination i'm gonna keep destination address as any application i only want to limit the ssl application so i'll say application as ssl uh, i'm gonna select here application default you can specify dscp or tos bits if you are aware about them by clicking on the code points option and then clicking on add here i'm gonna keep it as any so and the, under the other settings i'll say classify this traffic as class 3 and i can also specify a schedule you know during what time of day or what day of week it should be active so i'll hit okay so you can see lan zone to van zone address 10002 my linux machine 
going anywhere SSL application will be classified as class 3 traffic and then I have applied the limit on the class 3 traffic under the QoS profile you can see class 3 is limited for upload this and for download this now let's commit our changes while the uh, commit happens I'll pause the video and then resume it again so my commit is now complete oh so my commit has failed let me quickly check and then i'll get back to you uh, my commit has completed successfully so previously the problem was some other process was requesting the firewall configuration in the middle of the commit so that's why my commit i just recommitted it and it's successful now okay so our commit is now successful i also want to uh, let you know guys something else as well so any any traffic that has not assigned a class by the qos policy is classified under class 4 okay if you if you go under a profile you should be able to see class 4 is the default class okay so, so any traffic that doesn't have a, a class defined will go under class 4 so now i'll go under network us i'll stay there now let's go to the linux machine i'm going to use azure speed.com website in order to do upload and the download test so let's first do a upload test or yeah let's first do a upload test i'll select a region west india and then i'll click start the upload test now upload is limited on the eth one by three interface now let's go to the network QoS ETH 1 by 3 and click on statistics and see uh, if you go into ETH 1 by 3 default group class 3 you can see SSL traffic is limited to 0.5 Mbps also if you go into applications you can see SSL is being detected so, so these are all the applications which are being detected so bandwidth you can see 0.5 Mbps so that confirms our QoS is working on for the upload now let's do a download test I uh, will stop this and I'll go to the download test and I'll select a region and then let's upload a 100 MB yeah, 100 MB test file download 100 test file I clicked on it so my download will start soon you can see my speed is uh, not coming up. Yeah, it, it, it's coming in several KBPSs, and my download is limited on AE1 interface. Now let's go to the AE1 interface under Network QoS and click on Stats under the default group Class 3. You can see SSL is being limited to the 1 Mbps. This is runtime bandwidth in Mbps, and this is the time. So you can see. All the applications detect source users destination users if they have been identified then they will be shown as well so th that is it about the qos on the palo alto firewall qos is useful when you would like to you know prioritize some traffic over other which is delay sensitive like your voice traffic and uh, you know and any other traffic that you would like to limit maybe you want to give uh, you know more preference to the business uh, critical traffic than the other rest of the streaming and uh, uh, any other browsing traffic so that's where you can use qos it's a very very helpful feature in order to have the business uh, you know perform what they do the best in the day other than you know uh, keeping the non-relevant things to a specific limit okay thank you for your time have a good day